A University of Nebraska professor says he's been threatened by U.S. Congressman Jeff Fortenberry's campaign manager after liking a picture on Facebook. This is that picture. <laughs> it is true. Somebody put googly eyes on Jeff Fortenberry's campaign sign and changed it to read Jeff Fortenberry. And look, <laughs> I don't know if Banksy's getting better or worse, but he's definitely changed. Now, Apparently, Fartenberry was very upset about this sign, and his chief of staff, Ren Archer, massively overreacted to the point where he called a local professor named Ari Cohen to complain because Cohen had simply liked that image on Facebook. <laughs> Cohen actually recorded that call, and it's amazing. What you're liking is vandalism. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It... <laughs> I'm liking a photo. You're liking what the photo represents as vandalism. But... If, you, if someone were liking something with blackface, would that be acceptable? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, think, I think I actually know the answer to that question. No, blackface is not acceptable. Oh, God, I just won! I won! I won! I'm replacing Megan Kelly on the Today Show! That's all it took! What an incredibly easy standard to meet! Thank you so much, personification of NBC! Thank you! Thank you so much! It's lovely to see you. What are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to be that kind of Today Show hoax. No, 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 no. No, you, you've, you've been through a lot, haven't you? You've really been through a lot. Just go home. Just go home and you try and get some rest. It sounds, it sounds rough over there, OK? You just let, let him go. The Peacock, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> tough, tough place to work, historically. Still, still, I, I will say this. Liking this sign is actually exactly the same as liking a photo involving blackface, because signs like these come out of a very racist tradition, evoking offensive stereotypes that all white people have big googly eyes <laughs> and fart all the time, which is simply not true. Only some white people have big googly eyes and fart all the time, like Paul McFartney, Fartin Sheen, <laughs> Jimmy Farter, <laughs> Melissa Joan Fart, Dolly Farton, and, of course, Fart. But that's it. <laughs> Those are the only examples. You know what, though? I think my favourite part of the call came when Fortin Farty's chief of staff tried to pressure the professor by threatening to take his case to the public, and the professor, to his credit, tried to dissuade him. Frankly, we have a First Amendment opportunity to basically put you out there in front of everybody and even put, put this clearly as, why is a professor liking vandalism? We can do that publicly. Would you like that? I think it'd be... That's our First Amendment right, too. I, I think it'd be a terrible idea for you, if I'm being perfectly no. honest. As a, again, How so? Uh, because the... <laughs> because the optics of this are terrible. Yes, they are. They are. If you are arguing that it's wrong for anyone to like Jeff Fartenberry, I just don't think you're going to find a groundswell of public support for that opinion. Because in an election season featuring a vaping douche and someone so racist that butter had to weigh in, this might actually be the best optics that you can possibly...